welcome back to my channel. So today's video um, is actually uh, answering a question that I get asked all the time. I This is something that I wouldn't have expected to be like a commonly asked question, but it's something that I'm actually asked all the time by you guys, my YouTube subscribers. So um, this question, let me just find my notes, is what questions do you ask um, when you go on for sale by owner viewing appointments? And I think, I'm probably asked this so much because I do make a lot of videos um, or I have at least in the past I used to I haven't in a while but a lot of my videos are on Fizbo's and I make a lot of videos talking about just kind of sharing my experience um, I'm not by any means any trying to be any kind of real estate coach or anything like that I know there are a lot of <laughs> realtors who are a lot more qualified than me who do a lot better than me and are a lot uh, more professional all of this that are way better at their job than I am but I just enjoy sharing my experience and sharing what works for me with other realtors and hopefully someone else can um, be either encouraged, inspired, or learn from it and somehow. And um, man, like when I get letters from you guys, when I hear from you guys, I just got a letter in the mail from one of you guys saying like, um, you, I just got my first listing appointment thanks to you, your video, I used your script and it helped so much. So like that, is really, I love that, like that makes it worth it and I just have so much fun interacting with you guys. I love talking to realtors, I love talking about real estate. So enough about that. If you're new to my channel, that's pretty much like what I, why I make these videos and what I do basically. I just kind of talk about my experience as a realtor openly, candidly, authentically and share what it's like to be a realtor. Anywho, okay, so today I'm gonna to tell you guys um, the five questions that I pretty much always ask on for sale by owner viewing appointments. Um, as you know, if you watch any of my videos, I always say when I talk about for sale by owners, it's all, it's different every time. I don't use a candid, like I don't use a script. I don't use a script. Um, I do and I don't, I sometimes do, but I don't say the same things every time. I switch it up based on the person. You really have to be able to read people. Something I'm still, you know, trying to, to learn and get better at, but you really have to read people and you really have to, um, like, uh, it, it, like have discernment. Like every situation's different and every person's different. So what works on one for sale by owner is not gonna work on another. So, um, okay, so, um, Questions that I ask when on a for sale by owner viewing appointment. So it's honestly different for every appointment. I do my best to read the for sale by owner. Some things that I pretty much always do um, or always ask about. Um, okay, so the questions, the following questions are things that I pretty much always ask. Um, I don't have like them written down or anything like that. It's just naturally based off of a lot of trial and error. These are questions that I found um, really open up conversation um, with, uh, with these sellers and it really uh, gets me to understand their motivation for selling more and um, really, like I said, just an easy way to open up conversation. So here are the questions. One is, how long have you been selling for? Two is, how did you come up with the price? Three is, how long have you lived here? Four is, how, um, how have you done any improvements since you have lived here? And five is, what is your reason for choosing to go for sale by owner versus listing with a real estate professional? And um, so usually after talking about those things and answering those questions, one, they help build a connection and just listen, like listen, listen, listen. So usually after um, talking about those things, um, they open up more about their reason for selling, like their real reason their motivation for selling, and um, oftentimes it naturally flows right into um, me being able to give them the opportunity to tell them how buyers shop for a home, which is, this is important. So this leads me into the opportunity to tell them that, which what I tell them is that the number one way buyers shop for a home is online, like statistically, it's online. And something that my company does is we, and probably a lot of yours too, is we put uh, your listing on over a thousand websites nationwide. So don't you think that you're going to get more for your home if it's on a thousand websites nationwide versus just your local Craigslist and maybe Zillow? So there's that and then um, it leads into the second, I get to tell them the second, uh, second highest way buyer shop for a home statistically, which is um, through a real estate professional. So. 
I tell them if your home isn't listed with a realtor, then when a realtor goes to look up homes for their buyer, your home's not even gonna come up as an option. So, <sighs> that was a mouthful. So, um, those are questions I typically ask. Uh, every seller is different, like I said, so I'm going to ask somewhat different questions or maybe phrase it a little different person by person. Um, but, uh, and I don't always get the opportunity to um, talk about why they should use a realtor at all. Sometimes I just go and ask a lot of questions and meet them and say, hey, and that's it. And leave them with some information and that's it. Just make a connection. Be the first realtor to see them in person, which is something that I've like, I'm not perfect. Like I need to get way better at that. Like hearing myself talk about this, I'm like, oh my gosh, I used to be so good at this and I've kind of gotten a little, yeah, need to improve. So uh, I need to be held accountable too. So um, yeah, so that's really it. I hope someone found this helpful. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on your little notification uh, alert thingy so that you don't miss a single video. Thank you guys and uh, I will see you in my next video.